What's up, y'all? This is, <clears throat> excuse me. What's up, y'all? This is Mina Means. Once again, I'm the Time Oracle, and we're going to set it off right now. It is currently 2.10 a.m. 2.10 a.m. April 5th. Boy, oh, boy. April 5th, 2024. Woo! Let's do the math. Something has ended, and that's just based on the date alone. April 5th, 2024. Do the math. 4 plus 5 is 9. 2024. 2 plus 6 is 8. 9 plus 8, 17. Broken down back to an 8. Something is so over, baby. Oh, my God. Something is so over, it don't make no sense. But there's always a new beginning. So as something ends, something begins. That's just from today alone. Um, yeah, it's been very cloudy this week. The sun is peaking like it seems to, it tends to peak. The sun out here playing peekaboo with y'all, okay? That's what's going on. The sun is playing peekaboo. But um, I think, um, yeah, so the cloud, the cloudiness is, is, is dominating right now. So I'm just picking up, oof, emotions. Let me find out. Who feeling like Carl Thomas right now, though? You could be masculine and feminine, don't matter, but I'm just picking up on that song. I'm emotional. Let me find out. Mm -hmm. Now, going by the time we set it off at 2.10 a.m. Somebody wants to talk. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to know the truth about something. Somebody want to know the truth, y'all. Yep. But I'm also getting, regardless of where you're at in this situation, you're right where you're supposed to be. Feminine. Feminine, dear, my beautiful queens, you, yes, you, specifically my feminines. I'm picking up your right where you're supposed to be. A man wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to ask you questions, something about the truth. Somebody wants to know the truth. Mm -hmm. But something is... Excuse me. Something is over. Boy, oh boy. And that's just based off the time and date, baby. Mm hmm Let's set it off. Boy, oh boy. First of all, what deck do I want to use? Let's just go here. Let's go here. <clears throat> So the unrequited, the unrequited love card just um, peeked at me on my left hand. There's a feminine energy who left or a feminine energy who is traveling. There's something here about justice or being judged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we're making a decision. Yep, wars and battles. We have the stars. We have, once again, there she goes. And now we have great fortune. This is deep. Woo, this is deep. Water, emotions, emotions. We have two sharks. Two sharks swimming in the water. Two people are emotional right now. That's what I'm picking up. But you see the little fish right there too. 
There's a little fish at the, you see the little fish sheets at the bottom? Um, so I, I feel like um, somebody could be sharing the pain, talking about what they're going through. Somebody kind of feels bad for the situation as well. It's like other people. Whoever someone's been talking to, it's like, really? Is that what's going on? Oh my God, I feel so bad. That kind of thing. Okay, we have high honor at the bottom. We have the thief, journey, high priestess, spirituality, ships, house, official person, thoughts, phobias, love life, wars and battles, and a gift. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> Let's go to the death house. Since everything seems to be adding up to eight today. <sighs> Hold on. So today's day breaks down to eight. We set it off at 2.10 a.m., which breaks it down to 3. 3 plus 8 is 11, which breaks it back down to 2. Let go and let God. I'm also picking up prayers, 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 spirituality. Let's go to the 2. We have a house in the 2 o'clock. Now, this is real deep. I just heard the house of love. The house of love, or maybe somebody needs to go to church. We have this house in the two o'clock position. Um, church house, or um, somebody could be somebody could be praying for a house. Or maybe somebody's gonna come over your house and it's a man, the official person. Because, you know what, I can't, this is already getting deep. Oh, my God. Okay, so I feel like somebody's going to come to your house or I don't know what kind of religious practices you all have. But for some of you, this is about um, a spiritual home, okay? Oh, boy. love life something about a house something about a spiritual home something about prayer something about a man in a house i gotta see a man about a horse i don't know why i felt the need to say that i'm about to go see a man about a horse that is so country but i don't know why that came out some of you you, you live down south somewhere i don't know but look love life this is in the eight o'clock position so death to someone's love life death to a relationship death to a situation here but then there's a new beginning, okay? Energies that surround the love life are phobias and high priest and high priestess. So, oh my God, okay. So somebody is afraid here. Somebody is afraid, okay? The phobia is in a seven o'clock position. Something about justice or an injustice or somebody is not balanced when it comes to their love life because somebody has too many fears. It's like somebody's love life takes over their emotions, something like that, or something is stressing somebody out, out here. So I feel like somebody could be going to a reader, a high priestess to get some answers. Okay. Um, we have wars and battles in the 10 o'clock. Somebody could be fighting addictions. Somebody could be um, 
arguing a lot. Somebody is is fighting their inner demons, outer demons. I don't know what that means, but I felt the need to say that. There's a lot of wars and battles here. Somebody needs to cut down. I just heard somebody needs to cut down on something. We have a gift. A gift is coming. Somebody's going to give you a gift. This is an 11 o'clock position. It could be coming from, from an Aquarius. Okay. Real boy. Whew. Somebody's ships. Look at somebody's ships. Somebody's ships is coming in. This is in a one o'clock position. Somebody's ships are or have arrived or will arrive, but I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of things that need to be um, addressed. We have spirituality and religion in the three o'clock position. This is beautiful because this is telling me that there's a there's a spiritual con um, connection. There's a spiritual relationship being cooked right now. It's simmering. Somebody could work in a kitchen. I'm using I'm using kitchen words for, for whatever reason, but I'm just picking up. There is a spiritual connection, a spiritual union being birthed here. We have thoughts. Somebody could be thinking about you. This is in the five o'clock. Thoughts of love. Or somebody's trying to, like somebody's wondering. Well, let me find out. It's like somebody is saying, um, let me find out somebody got feelings. Let me find out somebody got feelings already. We have the journey. Look at the journey. We have a journey. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Somebody's going to be traveling alone. Yeah, somebody's going to be traveling alone, honey. Somebody is afraid to travel alone. I mean, as you should, because I see, yeah, as you should, especially if you're going to be getting on that plane because you're traveling alone. The energy next to the journey is the thoughts and the phobias. Phobias is a female. So for some of you, you are going to be, you're afraid to travel alone. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have a thief. Look at the thief in the 12. Hangman position, thief in the night. Somebody, um, I feel like the, yeah. Hangman hangs himself. The hanged man hangs himself because they know that they were coming in wrong. Somebody came in wrong, but then you got the high priestess. Somebody's not stupid. Somebody is like, I can see right through you. So somebody remove themselves out of the equation, out of a situation here. That's why we got this Atlantis, because people are sad. That's why the sun is out here playing peekaboo. It is cloudy. It is not quite pouring outside. It, it, there's a, it's drizzling, and then it kind of like picks up on the pour down, and then it comes. It's a lot of emotions going on right now. Woo, boy, oh boy, let me sip on this juice. Yep. <sighs> conflict, 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 conflict. Did you see the cards create a bridge? Conflict. Got a little girl. We have a little girl playing peekaboo. Yep, you see her, she's so cute. Somebody has a daughter, but somebody's concerned. It's like, you know, how she looks is like, 
it's like she's kind of spying on an argument. She's spying on, oh my God, what's going on? They didn't know arguing. Like she's scared. Like she just got out of the bed at night because she heard two people arguing. It could be her parents. And she's like, she's behind the wall. And she all she can do is look to see what's going on. Um, so it's kind of scary. Um, who the hell's reading is this? All right. Father, that speaks to me. What's going on? Mm -mm -mm. now all right this is deep because for us to have this right here at the bottom and we get this card something started from childhood it's either there's a single mom out here somewhere and this is this reading resonates with you okay or something started since childhood okay that's what i'm getting because this little girl is now grown she's she's her Oh boy, this is why do I feel like this is about to go real into your personal life? This is about to be almost personal. Oh my God, this is gonna go deep into your personal life because we're talking about your childhood here. Blah blah blah. There go Trump again. Mm hmm. Keep out. We got another little girl right there. We got Snoop, a camera, somebody playing mind games. We have a warning. Please be quiet. We have somebody wanting Chinese food. We have 24 hour surveillance. We have stopped and we have some strange men out there in the streets. And they found some queen who ain't really the queen because, you know, whatever you like, whatever kind of dinner you like, I will do whatever dance you like. Oof, 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 oof. Let me find out somebody like that. So somebody, hold on. <laughs> ah! Listen. Um, <sighs> boy, oh boy. Sometimes the matchmakers get it wrong. Sometimes the matchmakers get it wrong. Mm, 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 mm. That actually is from a book. Okay, but anyway, look, we have a camera, and the ships, okay? Somebody could be a photographer. Or somebody is, um, maybe somebody has a picture of you. We have somebody playing mind games. We have a house. Yeah, somebody's playing games out here. Somebody just wants to run up in that household, honey. Somebody just wants to be in your house. Or at least that's how they came in. They can't somebody came in with the mentality that they, they do want to come in and use you because of what you have. Because you know you're good. Don't she look like she's stable and she ain't got not one care or worry in the world? Okay. So somebody, yeah, that was somebody's somebody's intentions initially yes okay we have snoop with the spirituality and religion okay um somebody could like you for your faith i mean i don't want to always focus on on the fact that snoop smoked mad weed let's just focus on the fact that he got them heart-shaped sunglasses okay and i just feel like somebody um likes that you're spiritual somebody likes that you're spiritual or somebody you know somebody's gonna respect you for that whatever that may be i'm also picking up this this manipulating energy right here with the house this could be somebody else 
This could be somebody else. Okay. Somebody is fixated on what you have, what you own. Divine masculine, I'm picking up on two women. Two, two women. They're talking about what you have and they're coming in to use you. And, and the same goes vice versa. Divine feminine, there are two men talking about you. They are talking about what you have. But I feel like there's a situation here that is in disguise because it, 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 it looks like, ah, eh, no, no, thank you. I see right through you, bye. But somebody actually respects you or somebody actually likes the fact that you respect yourself. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. So then we have warning, don't try this at home. The official person is in the four. Um, so somebody is saying, I made a mistake. I will never do this again. Somebody is saying, I will, I will never do that again. That's what somebody is saying. Don't try this at home. I will never do that again. That's what someone is saying. Look at the love life with the 24 hour surveillance. Somebody's watching you. Somebody is, yeah, warning. Somebody is watching you. If you are, a, oh my God. Okay, so if you are a reader, if you're a reader, um, warning unto you. If you, okay, here we go. If you are a reader, especially if you um, focus on zodiac signs, and other people know your sign, people tap into your channel just to focus on your sign so they could know what the hell's going on in your life, in your love life. This could also mean that it could be simply somebody that you know or just people, you know, people, somebody that you know is tapping into your, yeah, they're cross-watching, they're cross-watching your readings. Um, but I have to say that you you are a reader though. This is for readers. I have to tell you that. Because again, the high priestess is here. She's in Sagittarius's energy, something about balance or temperance. And then we have this reversed female. So somebody's not doing well. Something, something is not right here with a feminine energy. Something is not right. Something ain't right. We have, wow, I just heard, I just heard um, by yourself. I just heard he's always, what? He or she? I just heard always by, always by yourself, something like that. In a, in a masculine's voice, I just heard a man say, always oh, by yourself, something like that. I don't know if he's talking about a feminine. I don't know if he's talking about, I don't know. But anyway, we have quiet, please, in reverse with the thoughts. So somebody, um, somebody doesn't want to be bothered. Somebody does not want to be bothered. Because they... Keep thinking about you. Keep thinking about the situation. You are always on somebody's mind. Oh, gosh. You are always on my mind. You are always on my mind. Fantasia sung that. Yes, Fantasia Verino. Somebody be fan somebody be fantasizing about you as well. So yeah, somebody um is always thinking about you. And it's like they don't want to be bothered. Cause they wanna be with their thoughts. We have keep out and then we have journey. So somebody's saying, get away from me, leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Um you're not coming with me. Somebody's saying you're not coming. Wow. They won't go when I go. That's Stevie right there. Stevie said it best. They won't go when I go. Which clearly tells me this. 
Somebody is on their way to a beautiful place. Somebody is on their way up that ladder, up to success, up to that mountain. I don't know what the hell y'all got going on. But when Stevie said, they won't go when I go. When Stevie sung that, he knew where he, he knew where, he knew where he was going. It's just that fake friends and family and false people can't go with. It's it's a who I like to call it mass cutoff season. That's me. Those are my words. That's my operation. That's my that's my thing. Mass cutoff season. When you have a mass cutoff season, you clean house on the people in your life and you cut them off and you block them. And they fall away, never ever to return. They, they, are, they are the people from Psalms 91 that just fall away from the left and to the right. They just fall away. We have, child, listen, we have, I want some Chinese food with the phobias. I don't know what the hell this is about. Okay. Ugh. Stop. Somebody's saying stop fighting it. Somebody's saying stop fighting it or stop, um, Somebody's saying stop fighting it or stop arguing or just stop. Somebody needs to stop arguing. Stop with the battle. Stop with the war. I, child. <sighs> we find out somebody's trying to stop um, smoking, drinking. If you want to know whether or not they will, they will. Somebody's going to stop. Okay. We have a gift coming from a man. A man is little, I don't like how he look, because he look like he ain't shit. I'm sorry, but he look like he ain't shit. Woo, he look like he ain't shit. I will not take a gift from this man. I won't, not one bitch, y'all. Um, we have a gift coming from a man. The gift fell off. Look at the look. I placed the bad man back on the clock. The gift fell off the clock. Listen, that gift ain't shit. It's basically what it's saying. This is saying blah, blah, blah. And the thief. Look at the thief. Mm -hmm. people are talking or this clarifies the fact that two men were just talking two men were talking crazy two men said the wrong thing to a woman and it was it was enough to kind of um yeah it was enough to to have her feeling like this two men okay Whoever you are, the devil is a liar. Dear beautiful queen, listen, the devil is a liar. Don't you worry about these men, these people, whoever. It might might have been females, I don't know. But whoever you are that, you know, somebody made you feel away because they said something crazy to you, don't pay that no mind. Not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> I just heard in Spanish, descubriendo, 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 discover, something about discover, you're gonna discover something. I don't know why that word just came to me, descubriendo, you're gonna discover something. Something's gonna be discovered out here. You know what, let's just keep it moving, okay. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. Honey, that gift. <sighs> Somebody gonna throw that gift right in the trash. Somebody gonna come through with a gift for you, and that gift you gonna throw that gift right in the trash. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> boy, oh boy! All right, let's let's go around the clock again. Ooh, look at that! Somebody was talking shit. Excuse my French at this hour, but I do feel the need to have no filter because I need to express myself, okay? Express yourself. 
I need to express myself, no filter, okay? So, yeah, we're gonna do it like this tonight. Um, We have daily news at the bottom. This clarifies and confirms. Somebody just been out there talking. I don't like this. I really don't. It's like somebody is is purposely trying to kill someone's faith, confidence, self-love. Somebody is like, again, I'm going to keep it real tonight. Listen, somebody saying, bitch, don't believe in yourself. Fuck is you. That's what somebody is saying. Bitch, you playing yourself. Or a female is saying that about a man. You playing yourself. Why do you have an ego? Like, there's, I don't know. Somebody is saying you have no right to have an ego. You ain't all of that. Somebody is saying that. Let me find out. This is deep. All right. Beth's car. So my name Beth Elizabeth. I don't know, but this is a female's car. A woman in her car. I'm also picking up wife. Mmm. Wow. I'm also picking up wife. Um. I'm picking up on a couple. Married couple. The wife. Something about the wife. Somebody's going to attract a spiritual leader. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody, or maybe you have, somebody's going to attract a spiritual leader because they're looking at you like your best car, like you are first lady or something like that. I don't go to church. I don't know, but some of you, you do go to church. Some of you, you don't. Your, your spiritual leader, your spiritual go-to person, something about a couple. We have late text messages at the bottom here. Let's lay them down. Mm, 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 mm. We have trust no one. Woo, we have a stalker, honey. Yes, we do. We got anger management, the hangman. We got death. See? Okay, so we got the husband. You go to husband. We have death scar. Death scar and best car is a married couple. We got seven o'clock, Lion King, Trickery, Mercedes Benz, and Training Zay. I just heard, do you remember the time we fell in love? Do you remember the time when we first met, girl? We find out somebody is um, reminiscing on the time, you know, you guys first met. Or this could be a, the beginning of that. When we first met. All right. Boy, oh boy. Somebody is mad. Ooh. Oh, mad. Somebody is mad. Look at the anger management, though. With the picture, though. With the ships are coming in. Somebody is pissed. I feel like somebody has a picture of you. Um, yeah, somebody has a picture of you and, and because your ships have come in or they're coming in, somebody is pissed. This is, this is all making somebody very mad. And I know I done took out them, those witchy, um, cards out of my deck, but I'm picking up, somebody could be trying to, you know, somebody's behind the scenes doing something to make sure your ass ain't happy because your ships have come in and somebody has a picture of you. And I'm also picking up evil eye. Okay. We have the hangman with the playing games with the house. So somebody done cut a man off. Somebody, yeah, somebody cut this man off right here. A man got kicked out of the house or somebody, somebody got kicked out. Somebody got cut off here. What the hell happened in 2012? Something happened in 2012. Look at 2012 right here. 2012. Let me find out. We have 
a stalker. We have a stalker who is fixated on you. Yeah, and they watch you. Somebody could be praying for you. I don't know, but we have stalker. Okay. Somebody, oh, divine feminine. Oh, boy, divine feminine. You know what? Y'all are crazy. Somebody, all right, check this out. Divine feminine, this is for you. You and you alone. Somebody is praying that you end up with somebody from your past. Somebody wants you to be with someone from your past. That's it. That's the conflicting energy that's going on right now. Even though your ships have come in, right? Your new beginning has come in. Somebody is still like, no, I don't like this new beginning for divine feminine. I'm not, I'm, I don't co-sign on it. I'm, I don't agree with it. I don't think divine feminine should be with this new person. Uh -uh. I think, you know what, divine feminine, you belong with such and such from your past. I'm fond of that person. I think y'all are great together. You know, they fit They fit in with the family. And that's what somebody is praying. Praying for you to end up with this person, okay? This person, whoever this person is, you don't like them. You don't like them no more. You just don't. You don't like this person no more. There is no praying. There is no... They can't spell work this thing into being because you don't like them. They can't manipulate your heart and mind to want to desire this person. Some of you, you are disgusted by this man. You are completely turned off. So they can't pray you and them together. They can't. What must be shall be. Some of you, you're just completely turned off. That's just what it is. Your person is this is this guy, divine feminine. Your person is this guy. Your person is the one who made a mistake. Your ships came in, but this person made a mistake. They didn't deliberately hurt you. They just took bad advice from this person who they have cut off or will soon cut off, but they've learned their lesson because it says warning, don't try this at home. When you get the death scar, okay, with this masculine energy and best car is the energy that came out as the main energy, this is a whole married couple. These two people are supposed to be together. They're supposed to be together. That's just what it is. Mm-hmm. Somebody is afraid. Somebody's afraid. Somebody's afraid of, oh my God, you know what y'all, y'all need to just stop. Y'all need to stop. Y'all really need to just, just stop it. Somebody gotta stop. Somebody, somebody is afraid of the witchy stuff. Somebody's afraid of witchcraft, dark magic, spell work, incantations, voodoo, voodoo, uh, uh, uh candles and potions and lotions somebody is afraid of it honey you ain't got to be afraid of that wait till i pull out these um uh, wait till i pull out the word deck so i can tell you listen uh-uh somebody is afraid of that or i'm picking up somebody's afraid for you somebody's afraid for you I, I'm just picking up somebody's afraid for you. Like somebody could be warning you. Some of you, you have family members that are warning you or somebody's warning the other person. Somebody is saying, be quiet or, or um, yeah, okay, yeah, it's deep, okay. Anyway, yeah. Seven o'clock. We got that couple with the thoughts and the quiet, please. So I'm just picking up mental health. Yeah, mental health. Mental health, it doesn't have to be that deep. It's just that I feel like somebody somebody just wants to... <sighs> doesn't have to be mental health, though. Mental health and emotional health as well, because this is all in a 5 o'clock. So heart and mind, 
somebody's heart and mind is not at ease. Somebody's heart and mind is not balanced here. But when we go to the actual seven o'clock position, we have a Lion King. Look at the Lion King. Lion King is in a justice house. Yeah, somebody's about to go through something. Somebody's, a, yeah. Somebody's in a justice house. Spiritual, yeah. Oof. Spiritual courthouse is, is how I want to put it. We had to trust no one with the journey, with the keep out. So again, this cosigns on this, yeah, this clarifies the fact that somebody's afraid to travel alone. Because they don't trust people. Or somebody could be watching you travel by yourself and how you are and how you move and they're realizing, damn, you don't trust anybody. So it's like somebody feels bad. We got trickery out here in the eight o'clock with the warning and the love life. Yeah, now I see the big picture. Look at this. You see this? Love life with the warning with that camera right there and trickery. <sighs> Somebody is not playing about their love life, honey. Okay. Somebody is like, I am not about to let people um, hurt me or trick me no more. That's what somebody is saying. Somebody is saying the hell with you or the hell with people or I'm gonna make, somebody is saying, I'm gonna make sure I don't get played again, something like that. We have a control freak, or that's what somebody is saying about you. Somebody is saying you're a control freak. Or I'm picking up also, um, th there could be a man that is a control freak, and so he's kind of mean or something like that. So that's why a feminine might be feeling like this. I don't know. Listen, this is crazy, okay? We have Mercedes Benz. Oh, with the stop. Okay, I get it. Somebody doesn't want you to get attention. Woo! Somebody doesn't want you to get attention. That's what's going to cause further conflict within someone's heart and mind is the fact that you know, you've walked away, but it's like it all go, it all gets better from here for you. And that's why Steve said they won't go when I go because it all gets better for you from here. Naturally. I just, yeah, it's like somebody doesn't like the fact that you, you're getting a lot of attention and you're about to. Um, training day. This is a fake ass person. Training day the movie. Denzel with the white boy cop. Okay. Mm -hmm. This this um was coupled with the gift, but the gift card, gift card. Somebody gonna receive a gift card. That's exactly what they're gonna give you. Somebody gonna give you a gift card in the envelope. That shit gonna be trash. You're gonna throw it out. Cause the, the gift energy from my Kipper deck was coupled with these and it slid off the clock is on the floor right now. You gonna throw it out. Somebody's gonna receive the gift card. That's exactly what they're gonna get, a gift card. Listen, we have spontaneous with these, these men and the thief. So, okay, let's get back into these these energies of, of um, people saying negative things to you, disrespecting you or making you feel away. These people are narcissists. They don't really care for, for women. It is their job to put women down because they have insecurities of their own. Hurt people hurt people. So these are people who are not right within. So why feel bad when someone who's already broken tries to break you, you don't feel bad right there. You just look at them and acknowledge the fact that they are not even a whole. Why should you even entertain anything coming from these people? They're not even a whole. 
okay? I just heard prejudice. I just heard the word prejudice. I heard the word prejudice. I just heard it in the wind. It just came out of nowhere. And it came in a man's voice. Something about prejudice. Let me find out. Now I heard, I feel bad for you. That Now I heard that. These could be you. I don't know if somebody's watching me right now and you're in, in you know, I'm picking up on your voice. Or these are just messages in the wind. Um, whew, this is deep. Honey, this is deep. Mm -hmm. A mother and child. I just heard a mother and child. A mother and child. We could be sleeping in in a cold anyway let's go let's take it there let's take it there let's take it to the soul messages let's take it there I'll take you there wasn't it in January when I kept being haunted by that song I know a place mm, where ain't nobody crying. I'll take you there. Let's cut one, two, three, four. I wonder if you still think of me. I'll take you there. This is what's going on. Mm -hmm. They're wondering if, you, if you're still thinking of them. And this is why they're stressed out right now. This is why they don't want to be around people. They just want to be quiet, alone with their own thoughts about you. And it's because they're wondering. They're wondering, what's, what's up with you? What's going on? Um, I don't know if I want to lay these down or, okay. Yeah, so it says here, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. So this is how some of you feel, and this is why it was so easy for you to walk away, because it's like, okay, I, I might feel, I feel in you a little bit, but I, it ain't that deep. You all right. <laughs> Let me find out. Who? Yeah, somebody is like, you all right. I, you know, I, I'm feeling you, but I'm not in love with you, love with you like that. So... It's easy for me to walk away. Divine feminine. I love y'all. I love my divine feminines when they get on their mean shit. No, for real. Let's let's just go there real quick. When my divine feminines get on that mean shit and just be like, boy, bye. And it's over, over. I love that shit. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Do I want to lay him down? Oh, God. Do I want to freestyle with it? I don't know. Let's lay him down. All right. Let's listen to it. Ooh. It say... Divine Feminines. Y'all done cut somebody off. Let me find out. But it's saying this person is for you. You ain't got no patience. Child, I won't have no patience either. I'll blame you, honey. Listen. <sighs> Somebody didn't think they would catch feelings. They didn't think they would catch feelings. That's what's going on here. Somebody, you know, they came in on constant wrong. They came in playing games and all of that because they didn't think they would they would um actually catch feelings. But now that they have, now now they're in this pissed off anger management energy and their heart and mind is not right within so they're mad at themselves okay this says here you make me very nervous 
okay, with the house, with the manipulator, with the 12. Um, yeah, you, you could have, yeah, they're intimidated by you. Simple as that. They're intimidated by you because of, you know, what you have, what you own, where you at in life. It says, will you go out with me? This is coupled with the stalker, with the spirituality and with Snoop. So yeah, somebody, somebody is stalking you because I feel like they want to kind of create this, this coincidental event where, oh my God, you're here. I'm here too. Maybe it's meant to be. Oh my God. But it's not. So they're stalking you. To create this moment where you two, you know, run into each other. So it seems, but they just want to ask you, will you go out with me? Okay. We have, I never meant to disrespect you. Clear as day. I can't make this up. I never meant to disrespect you with the man, the death scar, with the don't try this at home, with the damn official person, all of which are in the four o'clock. Yeah. Somebody is like, yo, I will never do this shit again. Okay, woo, somebody, somebody feeling it right now. It says, I think you're too good for me. Yes, this is what's going on. Somebody's intimidated by you. I think you're too good for me. That's what they think. With the quiet pleasing at seven o'clock and if somebody's saying, I think you're too good for me. But you got the best car, the death car. That's a whole couple right there, baby. Okay, somebody wants to see you. Somebody wants to see you with the journey, with the trust, no one to keep out. So yeah, somebody wants to see you. Somebody wants you to travel to them, go to their house, or they want to meet you somewhere. It says here, I'm sorry for putting you through hell. Who the hell out there putting y'all through hell? Couple with the phobias and the Lion King. Yeah, somebody just be straight lying to you, okay? It says here, I've been alone for a very long time. You ain't got time for that. You don't got time for the games and trickery because that's what we have here. We have the trickery and the love life and 24 hour surveillance. Yeah, so a lot of people be watching you, like you get, you do get a lot of attention, but you have still been alone for a long time. And it's because a lot of people that come towards you, they come towards you to play games and you don't have time for that. You see it coming. Okay, it says here, I'm not gonna give up on us ever. Child, I don't know. Because some of y'all, you see the coming and <clears throat> excuse me, now you don't trust this person. So if this person tries to come back to you, you're just gonna be like, nah, I'm, I'm done. I don't like how you came in. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person's going to keep trying because they're not going to give up. Then that's just what it is. So it's up to you. Divine feminine. Ooh, it's up to you. It says, I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Wow. I am for real. Let me find out. So, yeah. So, child, please. It says, I can't compete with your ex. Okay, this uh, what? This man feel like he can't compete with your ex? Let me find out somebody. Let me find out. I feel like the gift that somebody wants to give to you, for some of you, this ain't for everybody. Somebody wants to give you a baby. Let me find out. Somebody wants to give you a baby. And so because you won't accept that, they looking at you like they can't compete with your ex because your ex is your baby daddy. So it's like, okay, how do I compete with your baby daddy if, you know, you won't have my baby and I'm trying to submit this thing with a child. That's how somebody feel. Something like that, but it's not for everybody. Okay, 12 o'clock, check it. I chose the other person to, to, to um, please my family, but whoever they chose to please the family, this person is coming up as a damn thief. They coming up as a thief anyway. And the fact that this energy shows up in the 12, whoever they chose to please the family, oh, that, that's about to be over real, real soon. The question is, is, do you want this? Do you, are you going to want this person? Are you going to want them back? Oh boy, oh boy. So you're in love with this? No. You feel this person, but you're not in love with them. That's what I meant to say. You're feeling them a little bit. You're fond of them. They are right, but you're not really in love. You're not in love with this person. You're not. Look at the woman. So the only person here, I feel like there's only one person in their feelings about you. Woo, look at the Twin Towers right here, already peeking. Oh, yes, it's over. <clears throat> this is so over, it don't make no sense. 
we have a child, we have thunder, we have Job 26, and we have the light. Somebody's pissed. I just heard wrath. Mm. Yep. But after I cut four ways, you get the light. Look at the light. So sooner or later, the sunshine is gonna it's gonna break through the clouds, the fogginess, this this whole emotional weather that we got going on. This is emotional weather. It's emotional weather. Is what it is. People are not seeing things clearly. There's a lot of you know it's it's cloudy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. I don't know where you are right now, but mm, 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 mm. signs of the times, this fell off the clock. You won't even, let me tell you something, whatever's coming, whatever's going to happen between you and this person, you're not going to, you're not supposed to know. And <sighs> expect the unexpected, but I'm also picking up, you are receiving time time what you're receiving signs from the universe but some of you you are ignoring the signs you choose not to listen to the signs because you're some of you you're fed up so some of you are like i don't care for the signs some of you you're walking away like look i don't care about the, i don't care about the signs i don't care about the messages i don't care what the tarot reader told me i don't care what this person told me i don't care what this person's advice is some of you are so fed up and so disgusted let's use the word disgusted because that it just seems right that you walk away from every you walk away from this you walk away from the boat honey you walk away from the ship some of you walked over, but child, but look at the resurrection. You see the resurrection? When the resurrection happens, this is, this is, this is a godly event right here. This is a godly event. So you can feel how you want to feel right now. But honey, when God speak, it is what it is. We have the springtime. The stone the build is rejected. Judas, fall, Sodom and Gomorrah, karma, child, 1019, temperance, Psalms 131, Matthew 527, and baptism. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. Your ships came in or they're coming in, but someone doesn't recognize the ship. They don't recognize what's coming in. They don't recognize you. Someone doesn't recognize you. They don't recognize your soul. They don't recognize that you are the one. So they come in like they usually come in, you know, how they usually deal with everybody else. You're just coming in as a player. But you ain't playing about your, your love life. You ain't playing about your motherfucking love life. Let's say that. You are not playing because I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on tonight. So some of you, I don't know, child. Some of you have been flipping the wars and battles in the 10 o'clock position. Some of you have been flipping. So some of you, you're not, you're not playing about your love life. Some of you, like, if you don't get the fuck out of my face with this, player bullshit that's what somebody is saying somebody say if you don't get the fuck out my face and you're not playing and so because they know that you're not playing that's where they become serious okay we have karma yes karma for this for this dude right here absolutely karma this is this is the person who you know they listen to about you oh word because you know how guys talk they meet a female and first conversation be real basic oh so what's up you know what do you do for work oh i work here and this is what it is oh well you know i'm single right now i live with my family or i don't live with my family and they take all of that and they run tell that to a friend maybe a family member or two but that's what they do and so when they do that 
in a very tender stage of a connection, they open up the door for other people to throw dirt on it, to sabotage it. You just sow the seeds. You won't go in there again and uproot the seeds you just, come on, you don't do that. That's what, that's what they do. So karma for this person or these people, yes, fall. Now, as in autumn, somebody fell. Whether they fell in love or somebody's about to fall, fall off because they've been cut off. But it says fall, okay? We'll go out with me. The stalker with the spirituality in the, come on. Somebody fell in love or somebody's going to get rejected when they ask, will you go out with me? Look at the stone the builders rejected right here. The stone the builders rejected. Trust no one. Keep out. Journey. And I want to see you. Yeah. They won't go when I go. Stevie Wonder, they won't go when I go. So somebody, you know, may have said something to kind of push you away or reject you, but it wasn't it wasn't in their own doing. It was like peer pressure, but at the same time, okay, let's get logical, dear divine feminists, because I can hear you and I can feel you. Who the hell wants somebody who can't make decisions for themselves? That's not a grown ass man, that's a child. You could be 35 and you still run tell that. You gotta run everything by everybody else. You, you have the mind of a child. So this person doesn't learn until you walk away. You got to dead this situation first for them to learn the, the, whoo, the danger zone about it all is whether or not you're going to entertain them when they try to come back to you. Because when you cut people off, you go overkill. You go overkill. When it's over, it ain't just over. You're dead. Let me find out. You know what? What my juice said? Woo! You find out somebody got ghosted. Somebody ghosted you. Somebody is this? Is this what this is about? I hope this ain't got nothing to do with somebody being ghosted because that's real petty. But dear divine feminines, listen, ghosts are dead. So do the math. When they ghost you, you dead them because ghosts are dead. Let's put it like this. When they ghost you, they dead themselves because ghosts are dead. You can't talk to a ghost. You can't chill with a ghost. They're not here in the physical realm. They're not, they're dead. So if this is simply about somebody goes to you, dear divine feminine, honey, 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 they did it to themselves. Ghosts are dead. It's just what it is, okay? We have a child here with, I never meant to disrespect you. It's, it, it, honey, I can't make it clearer enough. This is a grown ass man, look. A grown ass man could be 22 years old and up. I don't know. But look at the grown ass man right there with he a man child. He still has the mind of a child. Tender brain, tender minded. Come on, somebody could be on tender.com. But this is what it is. Look at look at look at the thoughts with the with the damn. We got Luke 1019 out here. Okay, so this person, after your ass overkill the situation, then they're going to try to be on some 10, Luke 1019. Now they're going to try to trample upon snakes and serpents in their lives so they can try to come back to you. Now they got to make their way back to you like Jaheen. Wasn't we just singing another song yesterday? My love for you won't change. Now, now it's, you better put that woman first. Now I'm trying to make my way back to you. You know what? Who is Jaheem, though? We got... 
I can't with y'all. I already showed you the stone the builders rejected. Okay, we have the temperance out here. Yeah, this this is all giving me mental health, phobias, afraid. Yeah, because sorry, I'm sorry for putting you through hell. Oh, these these phobias and insecurities and issues that you have, this all stem from a past relationship. Somebody did you in real bad. Ooh, somebody did you in real bad, divine feminine. Somebody, ooh, this is what this is about. This all stems from, yeah, some of you have anxieties, relationship anxieties. This all stems from a past relationship. Somebody did you in real bad. That's crazy. So we have Psalms 131, and I've, I've been alone for a very long time. Some of you, you have kids that don't live with you, something like that. No longer live with you. You have Judas out here. Yeah, I mean, no brainer. Judas, come on. In the Sagittarius' house. Some Sagittarius and Pisces could be a thing. I don't know. But this is in a sad house with the I'm not going to give up on us ever. So, yeah, somebody is 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 um, looking at the situation from a different angle is what I'm picking up. Because they have probably gone to a high priestess. Somebody has... Um, when to speak to, I feel like this masculine is getting advice from an elderly woman, uh, 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 you know, a spiritual woman in their lives. And what they're saying is, you know, you got to look at it from divine feminine's point of view because certain shit you just don't do, certain shit you don't accept, especially from your, your friends, Some certain shit you just don't do. So I feel like this masculine is getting advice from a high priestess in their family or whatever. Um, we have Matthew 527, cheater, Adultery right here, coupled with Capricorn in the wars and battles. Yeah, somebody needs to stop. Stop. Stop playing these games. This this whole situation right here, let me tell you something. All right. This is the beauty of it. Divine feminine. This is the beauty of it. Or whoever you are. The beauty of it is this. Um this is this is a very um it's a sensitive matter. It's a sensitive situation because the relationship, because the connection is brand new. It's like a baby. So you have to nurture it and care for it and be gentle with that, right? But also, because it's, because it's so new, it's like the worst has to happen first. Woo! Oh, my God. God, the worst has to happen first before the actual journey begins between you and this person together because lessons have to be learned now. In order for you and this person to become this couple, y'all got to get all of the ugly, okay? You got to get all of the, you know, all of the mistakes out of the way now. Lessons must be learned now because when God says it's time and trust me, he going to speak because you don't get this resurrection at the bottom for no reason. Divine feminine. You can walk away. You can cuss. You can, you know, be mad at life and, 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 and shit, carry on. But when God speaks and you two find yourself together again, I just feel like what must be shall be. The worst has to happen first in order for this man child to grow the fuck up and for your ass to not overkill every fucking thing. Because if you keep overkilling, then you 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 overkill so hard that people might not want to come back to you. <laughs> Let me find out. To my family that you overkill so hard that people that listen, the second time around, they're afraid to come back. They're afraid to come in and apologize. You overkill. You cut people on so fucking hard. Don't make no sense. You know what? Give me this juice. Oh, boy. I just heard grandmother. I just heard grandmother. Somebody's grandmother. I just heard don't do this. I keep hearing it in Spanish. We find out my family be watching me on here. That's how I feel. I feel like my family be watching me. Because it's all coming to me in my family voice. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Whew, 
fuck divine feminine, y'all. Ooh, you cut off so hard. Ooh, wee. Divine feminine, you cut off so hard. Ooh. Oh my God, you cut off so hard. <laughs> They, they're afraid to come back and apologize. Okay, we got the baptism. Yeah, so this 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 guy right here with the training day, talking about they can't compete with your ex, they, they're going to want a new beginning. They're going to want this new beginning. They're going to get a, a, a renewal of the soul, a renewal of the mind, a baptism, okay? It's a refreshing. It's a new beginning. A new self is what I'm picking up. That's what I'm getting. This, yeah, that's what they're going to do. And they're going to try to make their way back to you. We have the spring. Okay, so it's April. The spring is here, right? It's approaching. It's the beginning of it, should I say? I don't know. Winter's whatever. But look, something is not going to happen right now. This, this Things are not in season right now, okay? What, what you are hoping to get, whoever you are, whether you're masculine or feminine, some of you are hoping for your love life to like happen now. It's not going to happen this season, honey. We're not in season for a relationship. Okay. Somebody is saying, Callate la boca. Callate la boca. Yeah. I think, yeah, I have some haters watching me right now. I have haters watching. Um... But that's but it's it's okay because it's okay. I'm I'm allowed to have haters. I am. I am somebody, honey. I am allowed to have haters. You yeah, know, a bad bitch. So <laughs> I'm allowed to have some haters. All right. You go ahead and you hate on. Um, God is still good. All right. Um, God's still gonna wake you up in the morning. You be alright. Um, but. Boy, oh boy. Mm, 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 mm. Stop overkilling. Divine feminine. What? You will receive a gift. We got this twice, it, but it fell out in reverse. I don't think you're going to receive it. I don't think you're going to accept the gift, honey. You're going to receive a gift. Somebody's trying to take this gift from you. Oh, that's why it fell out in reverse. Somebody's trying to steal this from you. Somebody's planning to rob you of a gift. Oh, you're going to receive a gift. Somebody's trying to take this gift away from you. I feel like it's in the spiritual realm. Okay, somebody, yeah, I'm just picking up in, in, in the evil spiritual realm, right? Somebody's trying to take a, a, a gift from you. And that's what's going on. Somebody's trying to take a gift from you. But we don't care about that. We don't care about evil work. We don't care about, we don't care about that. Because it, at the end of the day, it really it really holds no power. We know, we know. Whew, let me tell you something. The next time y'all, okay. Whew, somebody's watching me right now and whoever you are, the witchy shit scares you. I don't know whose energy y'all picking up on, but whoever you are, all that witchy shit scares you. Listen to me. I want you to meditate on this because you need to know God's power. Think about where you're sitting at right now, whether you're sitting or standing. Now think about what state you're in, where you live at, what state you're in. Then think about The fact that you are on Earth, planet Earth. And then think about the fact that Earth, Earth is floating right now in the middle of nowhere up there in the universe. Think about that shit. And then acknowledge the fact that God did all of that. We sitting on a ball right now that's floating on pure nothing, surrounded by stars and shit. That's, who, that's where we're at. We're sitting on a ball. Think about that shit. We're sitting on a ball right now that's floating. Had there been gravity up there, this, this whole earth would be falling down. Understand the power. Yes, under. Don't overstand, don't overkill. Under. Stand. We sitting on a whole ball right now that's floating. 
and this ball is his footstool. Does that, does that not tell you who's in control? Does that not ease your mind about all that witchy shit? Because the same people who are out there operating against you through the witchy shit are sitting on the same ball too. <laughs> Meditate right there. And then think about how small you feel. Think about how small you feel sitting on this ball called earth. Because it makes me feel small, as you should feel small. Understanding his power, you should feel small. Don't you ever allow yourself to feel small from some witchy shit, ever. Please. Now, that's why I had to get rid of them cards because I felt like, you know what? People are just starting to like panic with these cards. Let's take them out. Anyway, all right. So we got, they are bitter. And then we have lawlessness. The love of many grows cold. Woo! Mm, 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 mm. I need to sit right there with that. This is deep. Somebody could be calling you bitter or maybe somebody, somebody else is bitter. But then it says, signs of the times, Matthew 24, 12, lawlessness, the love of many grows cold. The love of many grows cold. Yeah. This could also mean that um, this is what someone is trying to do. Either this is what they're saying about you or this is how the fuck you really feel. Maybe your ass is bitter and you need to stop. Um, or this is what someone wants. This is how they want you to be. This could be how they want you to be. They want you to be bitter. They want you, your love to grow cold because they want you to overkill. They want you to walk away before the gift comes in. But even if... Again, what must be shall be, even if you feel like you've overkilled and you've walked away and you're just not, you know, whatever, what must be shall be. Dear readers, some of you are, again, let's, let's go to the readers. Dear readers, um, I feel like some of you are being attacked because, again, somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching specifically your zodiac sign reads. Like whenever you post your sign, somebody watches just to see what the fuck's going on in your life. And if there's anything good coming out of that reading, I feel like, yeah, there is some, there is some shit going on in the background. Somebody's trying to stop it, but it's not going to work. I really feel the need to say woe unto them. That's what's going on here. All right. Let's see what else we got going on. Oof. Haters. Hi, haters. We got two, three, four. Two, three, four watching me right now. 234 people. As I say that, two or three might leave. But two, three, four moves forward. You can have these haters all damn day. Life goes on, honey. This globe, this ball we sitting on that keeps turning slowly, life goes on. Yeah, you got a lot of haters. And this fell in the 8 o'clock position where we got love life. Woo! Mad people are hating on your love life. Mad people. I'm sorry, but this could have to do with your baby daddy. I just heard a man yell. I just heard a man yell, don't do that shit. I, that's what I just heard, I promise you. In a very far distance, I heard a man say, don't do that shit, don't do that shit no more. I just heard a man just flip. I told you to stop doing that shit. That's what I heard, just now. Some of you, this is about your baby daddy. Your baby daddy must have put you through so much hell that um, you know, you've gained a lot of haters just from dealing with your baby daddy alone. 
Your baby daddy could be the one involved behind the scenes doing evil spiritual shit against you. This is the person who's trying to stop you. Your, your, your motherfucking baby daddy. Woo! What's behind a baby daddy? They regret what they said. So you so you so oh my god, yeah. Yep, your baby daddy says some shit about you in them streets that caused you to have a lot of motherfucking haters. And I'm 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 expressing tonight because this is the energy that I'm picking up on. Today has no, let's not say today because I'm actually picking up on energies from yesterday up until now. Um Something about dark, 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 just darkness, a lot of darkness. Again, the weather, the cloudy, the fog, okay, uh, the, the, the sun playing peekaboo. Somebody, baby daddy, evil as hell. It's your baby daddy that's bitter. Some of y'all need to heal from this shit. Oh, yes, you do. You need to heal from this shit. But at the same time, I want to, I want to, let's put, I'm going to put the baby daddy card here because I need a reminder to pick up on this, this, this foul person right here because, um, I want to pick up on, on what's up with this, this motherfucker right here getting on my nerves. You see this shit? It's two, two, two right now. This motherfucker right here getting on my nerves. And I feel like this is, this is Divine Feminine, this is why y'all be going overkill. Okay? I want to pick up, I want to tap into what's this person's karma right here. This motherfucking baby daddy. All right, Father God. This baby daddy do not want you to move on with your love life. And he's he's the one who got to be uprooted out your life. This motherfucker ain't never get over this shit. This man ain't never get over you, Divine Feminine. And I don't know how long it's been. Some of you, I don't know. It's been eight years, eight months, eight weeks. Something about eight, okay? Don't go back to get your clothes. Don't go back there. Don't go back there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Motherfucking baby daddy. I, ooh, I can feel y'all right now. I can feel y'all. Some of y'all divine feminists. Hold on. Something flips. It says, see, I have told you beforehand. Love. Some of my baby daddy. Listen, your baby daddy been stalking the fuck out of you. And this man probably done moved on, got somebody else, had more kids. I don't know how long it's been, but this motherfucker won't stop. And what the problem is, is that they know you single and your ships are coming in. We have the ships here. Okay. That's what's going on. We have a video of you right here and then it says, such are the paths of all who go after ill-gotten gains. Somebody has a video of you. Yup. It says here, everybody knows with the love. It says they followed you home. Listen, somebody baby daddy is not over that shit. He's still bitter and he be following your ass home. It says here 24 hours, something about 24 hours. Something's going to happen in 24 hours hours or this could have to do with that 24 hour surveillance where somebody just be watching your fucking ass every day 24 7 a man okay look at what the arguments it say what they were trying to do to you they did to themselves what a pleasant surprise Woo. what a beautiful surprise honey if this gives you any kind of ease in your soul Dear soul tribe, listen, what they were trying to do to you, they did to themselves. So don't you worry about a thing, okay? Because every little thing is going to be all right, okay? This is about your ex. Your ex ain't shit. Your ex done moved on. They out here watching you, following you home and shit, taking videos and pictures of you because they know that sooner or later, they watching you. And get every move to see who you with. 
Yep. Mm hmm. Ain't all that. You I right. Ain't all that. I don't know who you may have said this shit to. <laughs> Woo! You may have. Did you really say this? Didn't I pick up on his energy earlier? You I right. I mean, I, I I like you, but I'm not in love with you type shit. Oh. Clarity. find out you had an argument with your baby daddy at some point and you and you at some point told your baby daddy out of anger or maybe out of truth i think it was out of truth you may have told your baby daddy or your ex out of some 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 hard cold truth shit yeah he ain't all that divine feminine did you get with your baby daddy knowing that he wasn't all that did you like some of you i'm, I'm picking this up you you went into a, a relationship with your ex knowing that you weren't in love but you you had feelings you felt them in some way, but not like that, because in your mind, they weren't all that, and that's just what it is. But I feel like during the argument, you know how when you argue and all kinds of fucked up truths come out? I feel like during the argument, you may have said, motherfucker, I don't love you. I ain't never love you. You ain't all that. You ain't shit. The sex is bad. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face. I feel like for some of you, you may have said that. And so your ex felt some type of way. Like you pierced this person's soul when you said that during an argument. You pierced their soul. And now they are bitter. And they're stalking you. They want to make sure that you never end up happy. Because they have a bruised ego. It's like finding out after, after, after years and years and years, damn, you ain't never loved me, so what the fuck you do? <laughs> why are you here? It's like, why did I get married? Why did, why did I get married is coming up? All this time you've been with me, you ain't, so all that shit was fake. And this is why they're stalking you. Let me find, you know what? Mm, 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 mm. Woo. All right, Father God, please speak to me. Mm, 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 mm. Slept with somebody you know. Yep. Asking around about you. Okay. That's what I'm picking up. Let me find out. Oh. oh, God. What else? This gospel will be preaching all the earth. Negative energy. They want to sleep with you so they can say the sex was bad. Wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked. Just don't worry. Yeah, somebody, your ex is trying to set you up. Your ex is trying to set you up with somebody so you can sleep with them so that they can start these rumors about you out in the streets so that they can sabotage the love that's coming in with them ships. That's what's going on. Yep. But wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked. So, yeah, that's what's saving you is the fact that, okay, they can send anybody. They can send somebody to you to try to fool you. But wisdom will save you. High priestess energy. Wisdom. Yes. Wisdom is going to save you. You know better. You know what it is. You know what it's about. So they really can't fool you. This baby daddy got to go. <laughs> somebody is saying, be careful. Your baby daddy could be saying to you, be careful. I'm pit child. Or you just need to be careful. I'm picking up on threats. You know what? Child, please. Fuck this baby daddy. Could be my baby daddy. That motherfucker gone. Pray that your flight not be in the winter of Sabbath. Somebody is going to be stalking the shit out of you during travels, honey. They're about to lose everything. Okay? There will be great tribulation or this could mean that there's something about your baby daddy or this ex or these witchy ass people fucking with your energy okay who are going to travel okay because these people are stalking you right with, with with serious bad intentions so i'm just picking up somebody's gonna gonna go on a trip and during that trip they're going to lose everything there will be great tribulation and your ass is gonna be motherfucking happy you see this shit this ain't right. Mm -mm. This reading right here, because <laughs> I'm not even done. 
Because I'm about to tap into this baby daddy. Who baby daddy is this, is this this bitter that they keep fucking with you? Like, okay. It says here, your mother. Okay, somebody's going to call the police on somebody. It says, I in turn will laugh when disaster strikes you. Um, wow. And they will get arrested. Somebody's gonna call the police on someone. Or maybe the fuck you need to. Call the police on this fool. Absolutely. Some of you are just so tired. Some of you, you're, oh my God. Some of you, you're exhausted. Some of you have been stalked for so long that you are exhausted. It's like, leave me the fuck alone at this point. But if you got this in, <laughs> yo, if it gotta be, it gotta be. Woo! <laughs> That's how somebody feel about their baby daddy, about their ex. Yo, if it gotta be, it gotta be. Some of you, you don't even know what I'm saying right now because you don't know where those words come from. You don't. Some of you, you are clueless. Those are lyrics. Yo, if it gotta be, it gotta be. That's how you feel though. Divine Feminine, don't do nothing crazy. All I'm saying is this, hold on. Because I'm picking up on your energy and that's why I feel the need to express myself because y'all got all of this shit bottled up. Because somebody keeps fucking with you. And it's your ex, it's your baby daddy. Okay. But when you get to the point where you say, yo, if it gotta be, it gotta be. You don't even know what that means. The realest, the realest, Mob Deep and Cool G Rap, when he said, yo, if it gotta be, it gotta be. That's how you feel. You've been stalked for so long. They've been fucking with you for so long that you feel, if it gotta be, it gotta be. But Divine Feminine, please just breathe. Just breathe in and breathe out. Because somebody's going to get arrested. Let his fucking ass get arrested. Somebody keep coming to your house. For some of you, your baby daddy, you're trying to um, make sure they don't find out where you at or where you live, but they already know. Woo! And you're pissed. <laughs> Let me find out. Look, Divine Feminine, this is for you. It says her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. This is just beautiful right here. This is you, Divine Feminine. This is your world. And this is what they want to take from you. They don't want your ways to be pleasant ways. They don't want you living in peace. That's what they're saying. So they're going to make sure they fuck with you. Anything else? They're still holding a grudge. Okay. Oh boy. Anything else? How useless to spread a net where everyone can see it. Just the fact that you know. Just the fact that you know. That, that, that they're stalking you, okay? All right. Ooh, somebody hate they baby daddy. Excuse me, somebody hate they ex. Ooh, some, it's with hatred though. It's like from the inside, from the soul. Somebody hate their baby daddy or your baby daddy hates you. And it's deep. Oh my God, it's real deep. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you hate your baby daddy because your baby daddy hasn't released you. They haven't released you from their spirit, their soul, their mind. And even if they've moved on, you know, and, 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 and you know, whatever, they've moved on, they still can't, they just can't shake you because whoever they're with, they don't love them. 
they got with them to get to make you jealous and they back fire because you don't give no flying fucks about them because you was never interested in their ass in the first place. You wasn't even in child. <laughs> That's why they mad. They did all this shit to piss you off. They don't went and got with the next chick to make you mad and you don't even give a fuck because you were never truly into their asses from the get go. You were not in love. It was easy for you to walk away from that. So now they're sitting up here with somebody who they don't want to be with. And they're stalking you. Woo! That's deep. That's deep. That's some deep shit right there. Judas done got knocked out of the damn clock. I know that's right. Look at Judas' ass off the clock. Bye, Judas. Let's see what this little stack say. Third party situation. I'm not surprised. Third party situation, but somebody's saying this shit ain't over. Okay, third party in, but this ain't over. I'm coming back for you. That's what they saying. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked. There's a cursed house out here. Okay, but this too shall pass. This too shall pass, baby. You see this right here? This too shall pass. <sighs> Anything else? Somebody's going down. Somebody is going down. Somebody is going down. Do not set foot on their paths. The way I the way I perceive this, if some if somebody know what's good for their asses, they will not set foot on your path. Okay. Anything else? So whatever you're going through, again, because I feel like you're. I don't want to say you're standing in the middle. Are you? I don't want to say you're standing in the middle. You could be standing in the middle, shit. Especially if somebody came in all kinds of wrong, stuck in a third party situation, stuck in a karmic relationship, right? Then you would be the middle person, but okay, whatever. But what I'm saying is, honey, listen, just expect the unexpected, okay? I just heard Valentine's Day. Why did I, I just heard Valentine's Day. I heard, okay, so somebody is realizing that you are always alone on Valentine's Day. Not even on Valentine's Day. Somebody is discussing your love life. Somebody is literally discussing your love life. Not even on Valentine's Day. This, oh, so did she be alone? It, I, shall, it's a woman. A woman is, is just talking about your love life. Okay? A woman is talking about your love life. You still have a chance. Or maybe this is how somebody feels about you. Like somebody feels like, I still have a chance. But that's what it says. And then this says, they're after, ooh, they're after your money. Injustice. Somebody's after your funds. Somebody's after your funds. Mm -hmm. Somebody's after your finances, baby. Yep. Yep. Somebody needs a soul cleansing. Ooh. Okay. Somebody needs a soul cleansing. The only way I could really like simplify that because it's like I know some of you are like how the hell do you cleanse how the, how the fuck do you cleanse your soul some of you are like how the fuck do you even cleanse your soul some of you need a soul cleansing and the only way I can like come up with anything on that is um somebody needs to be delivered somebody needs to be delivered simple as that and you can only be delivered by God y'all ever caught the Holy Ghost 
That is refreshing as hell. Somebody needs to go to church. Let me find out. Somebody needs to go to church. Okay, let's not say church. I mean, that's, the, you know, I would say that naturally because, you know, I grew up in a church. But listen, somebody needs to go to church. Somebody needs to go to a, to, to a mosque. Somebody needs to go to the spiritual place where you go to, you know, you do you. But whatever that is to you, you need to go there because that's how you're going to get delivered. Your soul needs to be delivered. Your soul needs to, oh, you know why? Because somebody, somebody is still holding on to a soul tie. So, so the question here is, how the fuck do you break a soul tie that you don't want to be in? That you, that you thought you walked away from. And it's because somebody is still holding on to a, a soul tie with you. Somebody be doing spell work with thread. Somebody be using thread and shit. Thready shit, yeah. Um, how do you break? How do you break that? Is what some of you are asking. The only way to answer that, you gotta go to your spiritual place because that's where you you won't be delivered. You won't be delivered from that. You need to be healed and delivered. Ta ta ta. Okay, somebody the Capricorn doesn't have to be, but this is devil energy. Anything else? Somebody is obsessed with your fucking ass, okay? And this shit is annoying. It's like, I feel the need to say, motherfucker, get off me. I feel the need to say that. Because that's how some of y'all feel. You feel like, get the fuck off me. I don't like you. I don't love you. It's over. Get the fuck out. It's what some of you are saying. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, Michael, some of you just like, leave me alone. Something gonna happen to this person, yo. I'm gonna tell you like that. It says, Jesus says, take heed that no one deceives you because that's what they wanna do. They wanna come in and deceive you. Whether they're trying to send you somebody to make sure that you choose a karmic path from the path of the ships that are coming in Somebody could be a Libra. Your ex, some of you, you dealt with a Libra before. This person is pure evil. They don't want you. They coming in to play with you. Libra is justice, though. It says trying to turn you out. Some of, let me tell you something. Whoo, some of you are being stalked by a Libra. For some of you, the Libra energy is the one who your family wants you to end up with, but that motherfucker is evil too because they just want to turn you out. The Libra. Some of you are being stalked by a Libra. Let's go back to the stalker house. The stalker is in the three o'clock position. Okay, so I'm just, I'm picking up, yeah. Somebody is being stalked by, the only reason why this Libra had ever entered your world is because they're trying to turn you out. And I'm just, I don't know if this is about addictions, drugs, or sex, but there's something here about sex or drugs. They either want to turn you out into some drugs or they want to turn you out into some sex. I don't know. Maybe they want to sleep with you, have threesomes with you, turn you out into, well, well, I don't know. They want you to desire men and women or I don't know what the fuck's going on here. But somebody here is pure evil and, and, and there's family members that are actually co-signing on this fool. You got people that are co-signing on somebody that's no good for you. The only reason why these people are co-signing on somebody that's not good for you, I'm picking up on um nationality or spirituality like you you guys what something here about um i don't know if this is if this is like oh well marry him because you know we're jews and he's jew too no well don't get with that person because they are not of our faith don't get with that person because they're not of our nationality and race Right, but but this stalker, this person who your family wants you to be with, they are of your faith and they are of your same race and nationality. So that's the only reason why they're accepting this person. But this person ain't shit. <laughs> they ain't shit. They just want to turn you out. They just want to listen to me. Somebody, yeah. 
It says here jealousy and envy. This is bad, yo. This is all the way bad. This is bad. But you won't be all right. This too shall pass. It's just the energy surrounding love. There are just so much evil surrounding love right now. So much evil. So much evil. But it will be, you know, it's pure sunshine. This is why they're trying to attack it. They're trying to attack you. This is why. Because love, you, you saw the love card come out. Okay, you saw that this too shall pass come out. Now you're seeing pure sunshine. You will be happy. It's just that there's so much bullshit surrounding it. And I'm not done yet because I'm about to tap into your baby daddy. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap into what the fuck needs to be done to get these people out of the goddamn way. I said got, not God. All right. Father God. Running errands. It says here running errands. Right. Fell in an eight o'clock position with the love life and your family hates you. I know. Your family hates you. Your family fucking hates you, okay? This is not for everybody. Please don't cry <laughs> and don't be afraid of this message. But for some of you, this shit resonates for real, for real. But some of you, your family can't stand your fucking ass and they want you to end up with somebody because they want you to please the family. They want you to end up with the one who's going to please the family because the family feels like they can't celebrate you if you choose someone else. If they, if you choose the one who is your godsend, because everybody has to learn the lesson here. Your family got to learn the lesson. Your godsend is not the one that your family is going to accept, but it's for them to learn that lesson because if they really fuck with you like that they would want you to be happy happy right if they really fuck with you but that's the thing they don't fuck with you like that they don't want you to be happy your family hates you they can't celebrate you and your kids and all of that if you choose somebody else because they're not gonna fuck with that person who you're gonna choose they're gonna look at that person like well they don't they don't fit in they're not of our race they're not of our color <laughs> They don't, he don't look like us. She doesn't look like us. She's not of our faith. I can't celebrate the children. How am I supposed to celebrate my nephew and my niece and my grandkids? I can't celebrate. I can't go to family functions. I can't go to your house. You over there with this person and they look all fucking different. And I can't, I can't sit with their family and shit. And, and you know, I can't politic with them. That's how your family feel. So, so it's kind of like you, to your family, you're bringing in disgrace, you're bringing in shame because you're choosing the godsend. But the godsend is the one who's for you, who's going to make you happy. They want you to fuck with this other person over here who's only coming to kill, steal, and destroy. They're just in it for how it look. It look beautiful. It look nice on the family tree. It look nice on the, on, on, on the damn family photos. But that's it. They don't care about your happiness. They don't, they don't care about your happy. They don't care if this person cheats on you. They don't care if they drug you, slap you up twice a day. They don't give a fuck. They, beat, they can beat your ass for all they care is the fact that this person they want you to be with look good on the family photos. That's all it's about. They look good in the family tree. They want some, some grandbabies that look the same. That's what they want. So your family don't fuck with you. They don't fuck with you. They're not going to fuck with you if you choose the God sin. I'm just going to let you know right now. But it's okay because it's okay to be you and your person against the world. It's okay. Some of y'all about to be disowned. Maybe you, you've already been. Some of y'all about to be disowned as shit. Prejudices. Let's go back to that word I picked up one before. Prejudices. Some of y'all got some family members who got mad prejudices, all kinds of shit against people. Okay. Yes. Just too judgy. I don't, they too black. They too dark. Well, damn, if you want to fuck with them, can they be light skin? At least bring them in light skin. 
or her hair is too damn straight. I don't like that little stringy shit. She ain't got, well, she too light skinned. That bitch needs some sun. Well, what the, everything is a problem. Well, I don't like, mm, mm, mm. everything is a, well, I, you should get back with this person. Why? They look good on the family tree. Woo! Your family hates you. Now we're going back to your ex's person. Your ex's person is about to get kicked out. Whether your ex means, it didn't say baby daddy. So I can't say that, but it could be that. Your ex's person is going to be kicked out. So what I'm picking up on is you went overkill on, on, on a new person. So this ex, you know, it's a person from the past, right? I feel like this person, this new person who you've overkilled, they're going to overkill their person and cut them off and then try to make their way back to you. Is what I'm picking up. Boy, oh boy. Y'all got me cussing at this hour. What time is it? Is it four o'clock in the morning yet? How long have I been on this video? Ooh, y'all got me cussing on April 5th. You know what? It say they are not in love with you. Somebody's not in love with you at all. Yeah, somebody's not in love with you. This is what's crazy. Whether this is, whether this is, um, the new person who you've overkilled because they came in fucked up. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm picking up on, um, what's that song that just, it just came to me. Only know I love her when I let her go. I forgot how that song go. La 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 only know you love her when you let her go. That's what I'm picking up. So whether this is about the new person you had to overkill who came in fucked up because, you know what I mean, all the drama and shit going on, maybe they came in fucked up so they couldn't see that you are the one because so now they're not in love with you. They're going to realize they're in love with you when you leave. And that's all in the making. That's what's cooking right now. But this could also be the fact that this person that your family is fond of, this person your family wants you to end up with, they're not in love with you either. Or they're just not in love with you at all. Or maybe this is just what it's about. The person who your family wants you to be with, they're not in love with you. They're not. And it's fucked up that your family wants you to be with this person. With somebody who's not in love with you. This too shall pass. I don't know who I'm reading for, but y'all woke me up at 2 a.m. I woke up at 2 a.m. like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Some of y'all gonna leave my channel simply because I'm cussing. But that's okay. Because you know how I do. You know how I used to do. I always go through those moments out of the whole year when I got, it, it just, hey, y'all remember when I was putting up them curtains? I went, I did like, what, a whole year without cussing? And I had to put them curtains up and them shits was getting on my fucking nerves until I had to cuss them shits out into place. I'm there now. That's where I'm at. Okay. This too shall pass, baby. Anything else? God Almighty in heaven, what is going on in these streets? Y'all woke me up at two in the morning. Y'all got me cussing at four o'clock. What? Yo, hold on. Mad stuff just um fell out. Hold on. Ooh, something about somebody's neighbor. Something about a neighbor. Something about a neighbor, y'all. What the hell? Okay. Anything else? Woo! This flew, this flew on the floor. Hold on. What's this? Only no, no respect. Zero. This fell on the floor. Zero respect. Somebody has no respect for you. Or this is just the fact that you get no respect. No respect. You don't get no respect. 
And I, I feel bad for you, whoever you are. You're not. Pe- uh, is it is it people in general? Is it just what your family don't respect you, or something is deep here? No respect. Can I get a clarifier on the no respect? Hold on. I, let's just focus on a no respect. Why are you not getting any respect? Or maybe somebody just doesn't respect what you do. Why? Why someone is not getting respect? It says I'm not the same person I used to be. You're different now. Yeah, I'm picking up. You're different now. So you're not you're not getting any respect because you're different now. So so somebody this is this is clarifying the fact that somebody will only respect you if you submit to their ways. If you if you <laughs> it's like I will only respect you if you do what the fuck I tell you to do. Live your life how I want you to live that shit. And maybe I'll fucking show you some damn respect. If you don't get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit, give me my give me my juice. <sighs> If you don't get the fuck out of my face with that, that's what somebody is saying. I will only show you respect when you live your life like I want you to live that shit. <laughs> you don't get respect because you've changed. You're not the same person you used to be. That's called growth. I don't know. Is it? Is it growth? Or maybe you just don't give a fuck and you just different. I don't know. But somebody don't, you're not getting any respect. How the hell did this go from a new situation that you've overkilled to now family shit, to baby daddy shit? Because these are all of the energies that are at play. These are all of the negative energies that are surrounding this new beginning, this this new love. These are all the, this is all the negative shit. It's not just coming from your baby daddy or your ex. It's also coming from your family as well. You get no respect. Question is, who the fuck do they think they are? Because again, we're all sitting on a ball that's floating in the universe right now which means that they may not respect you because of who you are, but at the end of the day, they still got to answer to the same maker that made you. So they need to be motherfucking careful. It's how I see it. Who are they that to them, you don't get to have growth? Who are they to say that you don't get to be happy? Who are they to say that they won't respect you unless you do, uh, unless you do as they tell you to do? That's for the fucking birds. Especially if you grown out here in these streets. I can see if you're a child. But if you grown and you're able to make your own decisions and they don't respect you because you're a grown adult who's able to do that. If I were you, I'd say, man, fuck each and every one of y'all. Straight like that. Fuck y'all. I'm going to be happy. And if you're not happy for me, fuck you. Twice. It is what it is. Clearly, this video ain't for kids. Clearly, this shit is not for kids, okay? We have two reversals. You're the best I've ever had, and if only you could feel the pain in my soul, I'm in love with you. This is why they're obsessed. Because you're the best this person has ever had. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. And it hurts. It hurts them that they can't get you, that they can't be with you. This is why they're obsessed and this is why they're stalking you. You're the best they've ever had. Whoever's stalking the fuck out of you, whether it's your ex, baby, daddy, ex husband, whoever the hell, I don't know. Three exes ago, I don't know. This is why they're fixated on you because you're the best they've ever, they've ever had, and it hurts. Okay, and they're trying to stop you, but this person got to get the fuck out your way.
Because ain't nothing worse than a person being in my way. Woo! Listen now. Ain't nothing worse than a person being in your motherfuck. If you don't get the fuck out of my way, okay? Somebody's in love with you, but you don't want this person, no. You know what? Woo! These slid all the way off the whole entire table, honey. It says, I've never met anyone like you before. I think about you all the time. Tell me you love me, please. It says, I pray to God to please bring you back to me. And I want you to meet my family. Honey, this is the new, this is the new beginning right here. When you get a person, hold on. That's the new one. That's how the new one feel. Okay. But it's after they learn the lesson, though. After they learn the lesson. Because lessons need to be learned here. You got to learn to stop overkilling shit. And they got to stop. They got to learn to not take everybody's motherfucking opinions and shit about you. Okay. They're praying the God to bring your ass back. Whether this is the new person or whether this is the stalker who feels that you are the best they've ever had. Okay. Yeah, this is deep. And the fact that the new person wants you to meet the family, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. What it means is that they've cut off all toxic opinions and people from their circle of friends to where now the only thing that's left is family. And they want to bring you in. Something here was love at first sight. It was love at first sight is what it says. Anything else? This, honey, this table is, this clock, you see all these energies on this clock. This table is a mess out here. Somebody cares about you. Somebody actually has a few fucks to give about you. Genuinely, from the soul, is what I'm picking up. Anything else? Your family hates you, yo. I mean, that's that, ooh. Your family hates you. Mm. Will you please forgive me? This fell in a seven o'clock position. Fell in Libra's house. Somebody wants you to forgive them. Yeah, but I don't think you're gonna do it though. Somebody wants to start over again with you, but I don't think you fucking with them. You ain't fucking with this person. Bye. You ain't fucking with this person. It says, I am afraid of what the fuck I could feel for you. Let me stop, because you know I can get cuss word happy. Let me cut it down. Yeah, because because then it start turning into potty mouth, and you know how I feel about that. It's just, ugh. Okay, so you pop up in somebody's dreams. You pop up in somebody's dreams is what I'm getting. It said, I stole photos of you from social media. I bet you did. I cheated and got pregnant. I can't live without you. It hurts more than you know. I wish I knew then what I know now. You ain't got time for this shit. You don't got time for this shit. You don't got time for people to go through life and learn some shit years later and then try to come back. Motherfucker now is what you saying. I need a grown ass, I need a mature person now. I need, I wonder if you still think of me. Somebody is like, I need, I, listen now, I love your body. I don't got time to sit here and wait for you to learn some shit. It's what somebody is saying. That's why you, this is, I get, I get why you went overkill because you just don't have time for that. But, but either way, you, you're still, you know, you're the stone the builders rejected and you're going to go, you're going to go it alone. They won't go when you go. And wherever you're about, God is about to take you now, you, you're moving on up. But you're going to go alone. Somebody wants another chance. And when the resurrection comes, because this is this is what God is going to do. He's going to resurrect a situation that people are trying to sabotage. Look at the path through the fire right behind it. Look at the branch, the branch of Jesse right behind that. Somebody's spreading rumors about you so that your, your, your person, your godsend will be turned off and turned away from you. That's what they're doing. This is the bullshit. But 
yeah, look at the moon. Look at James. Okay, Gemini energy. We have light. Yeah, somebody is talking about you. And this, this is just, if somebody don't stop, you know what? All right. Please give me another chance. Anything else? Y'all got me cussing at this. My life hasn't been the same without you. And I want to I want us to start a family. Somebody wants to start a family with you. Boy, oh boy. I'm not the same person when I drink. I really want to see you. Somebody got a drinking problem. It says I want to get to know you more. Um, I'm sorry for the way I treated you, and I hate that you get a lot of attention. Didn't I say that shit earlier? Somebody hates that you get a lot of attention. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. Nothing else is coming out, but it does say I care about you a lot. And we're back to where we started. We start. I think we started at some point during this reading. We had 234 view uh, people watching. We're back to that number again. So it's like back to where we started. And, and, and I, that's a whole confirmation because things will still go on. Things will still pick up and move forward as they should be. They will, okay? Um, yeah. I feel like I'm done, am I? Am I done? This reading is deep. Woof. This is one deep reading. Why doesn't the family like me? Didn't I tell you? The family hates you. Your family hates you. Why doesn't the family like me? Let's find out. Why doesn't the family like you? I mean, for some of you, that doesn't have anything to do with anything I said during this reading. So you're like, okay, I know my family hate me, but why? The love of many grows cold. Because they feel like you turned your back on them. Your family feels like you turned your back on them. That's how they feel. Yeah, so it's like they're saying, I in turn will laugh at you when disaster strikes. So your family feels like you turned your back on them because you chose to live your own life. You chose the path of your own happiness. And they feel like you turned your backs on them. And so they're waiting for something bad to happen in your life so that they in turn will laugh. Your family can't wait for some fucked up shit to happen to you because they want to see, see, bitch, I told you so. Ain't nobody tell you to choose that path. Somebody can't wait to say that. Somebody can't wait to, you know, it's like your family's waiting for you to run back and say, you know, um, I need you. Your, your family who hates you, they're waiting for you to call them in a situation of an emergency so you can say, I need you, so that they can be able to turn around and say, bitch, you on your own. Ain't nobody tell you to go over there. Ain't nobody tell you to choose that life. Ain't nobody tell you to try to go out there and be happy on your own. I told you fucking ass before. You should have stayed put where you was. You should have been living the life that you were living before. Ain't nobody tell you to do all of that. And so now they're, it's like they're waiting. Your family is an audience of haters who is waiting for something bad to happen to you so that they can say, that's what your ass get. No, I will not help you. Deal with it, is what they want to say. They can't wait. Did you turn your back on your family? No. You just chose your own path. That's it. You chose your own path. And they're mad. They hate it. Because what can they say about you? What can they say about you during family functions? Where you are right now, the path that you chose doesn't make them look good. They can't compete with the other family members about, about their cousin, sister, daughter. They can't. They can't compete with the other family members. 
because you chose your own path. So now these are all the energies surrounding a new love situation. They don't want you to be happy. They want something bad to happen to you so they can say, see, I told you so, and I ain't going to help you. Deal with that shit. You chose that life, deal with it. Deal with your own damn problems. But that's, 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 nah. That's, to me, and this is just my opinion, you don't have to, you know, that's not, that's not family to me. That's not family to me. Family will love you for who and how you are, as you are. They will love you and accept they should, at least in my book, at least in my family tree. Okay, this is deep. Some of y'all, y'all are going through some shit out here. Oh my God. Okay, let's go back to this deck because... Oh my God. If I forgive them for cheating, will they do it again? Let's see if I get it. Hold on. If I forgive them for cheating, will they do it again? I'm trying to get a, a yes or no. Can I get a yes or no on that? They're gonna do it again. <laughs> we got a 12. If you if you forgive this or if you forgive somebody for cheating, they're gonna do it again. Um Ciao. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. They're gonna do it again. Yep. All right. I'm gonna pull out one. Please use protection. I don't like how that sounded. Just the fact that I said please pull out one. Use protection, okay? Um, Father God, what what's what's how do we end this reading? We have a reversal. This fell out in reverse. Look at that. First family. This fell out in reverse. This, this, is, this, this is how we're going to sum this up. First family in reverse. It looks like it's upright to you, but how it fell from my end, it's in reverse. And the star. Aquarius energy doesn't have to be. Okay. Exactly what I just talked about. For some of you, you have a family member that's an Aquarius. Okay. Um, I just heard from a far distant, don't do that shit no more. I just heard it. Like, just now, from a far distant, and it's a man. I just heard, don't do that shit no more. That's what I just heard. Don't do that shit no more. So somebody is definitely doing something behind the scenes, and it's a family member. It's a family member. Whether this be a family member of your ex family member of your baby daddy, a family member from you, from your family, okay, you have a family member that fucking hates you. And there's definitely energies, you know, dark energies at play here. Somebody really wants you to be unhappy or they want you to end up with the wrong person, but it's it's for their own benefit, not for yours. They don't care about your heart and soul and mind. They could beat you every fucking day. And they will still be like, oh, well, you know, uh, what's her name from um, Medea Family Reunion? The mother. She wanted her, her pretty daughter. She wanted her cute little pretty daughter to end up with that. What was he a lawyer or some shit? Simply because he was a lawyer and it looks good on the family tree. It looked good on paper. Oh, my daughter married the lawyer who works at <laughs> over there. And yeah, he got money. He owned this big ass house. He rich. Oh, <laughs> that's what's going on here. But he was beating her ass every day. And the mother didn't care. She told her ass to just suck it up. She told her daughter that maybe it's her fault, that she's the one that's making them do that. That's what she said. And then the other daughter, the one that she was ashamed of is the one who got the love. The one that she was ashamed of, she was ashamed of her because she chose her own path to be happy. But she's the one who received love. In the end, at her own sister wedding, the sister was supposed to get married. Uh-uh. The, the princey sister was supposed to get married? Uh-uh. That day, God made that day for the sister who was rejected, the sister who was abandoned, neglected, and all that shit. Yeah. 
That's what's going on here. A beautiful new beginning. A beautiful new beginning of love. And somebody is stalking you so fucking hard that they want to, um, you know, they're trying to see when it happens. They're trying to see when you actually start dating. They're in your business so hard. Let's take it back to the readers out there. They're in your business so hard that when you do readings about your own zodiac sign and you post stuff up that say what's coming, what's coming in love, what's coming towards you and all of that, they tune in just to see what's coming towards you so they can try to sabotage that shit early. Family in reverse, honey. First family. For some of you, this is about your mama. Could be about your father. Mother or father side, I don't know, but you got family that can't stand you. And that's deep. That's real deep. See, I'm quiet because I, I want y'all to take it in. I want y'all to really take in these messages because it's deep. This is this, this is where it gets deep. This is where it's deep. This is where it gets real. Because when God speaks and things should be as he says, and all these energies are against God's will. This is where it gets real. This is where it gets ugly. This is where people learn, things fall apart. People lose stuff, people lose everything. This is where it gets real because they're going against God's will. They're going as far as calling you crazy. People are going as far as calling you crazy to think that God is even with you like that. That's, that's deep. Somebody is saying God ain't with you. He ain't, he ain't blessing you. This ain't no God sent. You just crazy. You don't know what the hell you doing and you need to stop with all that and come over here and live the life that I tell you to live, bitch, because if you don't, I'm going to disown your fucking ass and we don't love you and bring home some light-skinned babies and bring home, okay, I want you to get with somebody who is of the same faith. Don't you bring over here no, no damn, okay, that's what saying so who's the who's the devil here who's the real judas because it ain't you you're just trying to be happy you're the one who's about to be blessed who's the real judas here Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Some of y'all like, you know what? Mina means need to stay in this energy. <laughs> Some of y'all like, Mina means please, please, please stay in this real energy. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I could go cussing every single day because it, it just starts getting potty mouth to me and it's like, ugh. Um, yeah, so, boy, oh boy. You, some of you, you have children and your family is phony to your kids. That, that's, that's hard. You got kids. Some of y'all, your family is phony as hell to your kids because your kids ain't the same as the rest of the family. Your kids are different. Some of you, your family don't like your kids, man. They phony as fuck. They don't like it. They looking at your children like, I don't feel like babysitting this child. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh. It's just real phony. It's terrible. It's, oh my God, this is terrible, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. 
So you're getting it from all angles. You're getting it from your baby daddy. You could be getting it from your baby mama. You could be getting it from one of your exes. And you're also getting it from your family as well. You're getting a lot. It's a lot going on up <laughs> behind the scenes against you. It is a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, but this who shall pass. We did get that energy. And we also got um, pure sunshine twice. So I won't worry about it. You know, lessons need to be learned here. Stop overkilling shit all the time, whoever you are. Um, you know, definitely walk away if you feel the need to walk away. That's okay because you know you and it's important to always set boundaries. That's how people will come to respect you. When you set your boundaries, that's how they respect you. You set, you listen, set a thick ass border. Okay, that's your boundary right there. Make sure it's a thick ass border and let people know what you will and won't take. Okay, because we don't we, nah, take no shit. And then that's how people will come to respect you and be dead serious about it. Don't let somebody come back a day or two because they, they said, I'm sorry, they come through with a gift. Fuck your gift. Fuck you in the gift. That's how this person's going to learn. But whew, look at the mother. For some of you, it's your mother. Mm, 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 mm. For some of you, it's, this is somebody. Somebody's mother can't stand your fucking ass. Okay? For some of you, your mother don't like you. Your own mother don't like you. Your mother feels some type of way. Your mother is like, <laughs> don't you come over here with them different ass babies. It's what somebody is saying. Somebody mother phony. Don't come over here with them different ass kids and shit. Bring me somebody who I can look at and accept. That's fucked up. That's real fucked up. Mm-hmm. So my mother. Woof. Somebody said, I can't stand this shit either. I just heard it. Somebody said, I can't stand that shit either. Somebody just said that. I heard it in the winds. I can't stand this shit either. Mm -hmm. Look at the holy family. Winter. Autumn. Something is moving backwards. And we have Peter. Holy family. How the hell you how the hell you get holy family? Seasons move back from the winter to autumn. That's moving backwards to then back to one, back to the beginning, back to square one. Somebody's going to start over. Somebody wants to start over. I just heard second chances bring success. And you can't, there's nothing that you could do about that. But right now, before I close, because, I, you know, I have to close with, oh boy, I got I to gotta fill it. Um, I want to know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of, uh, or should I say I'm picking up on you. You're tired of this shit. You're tired of um, just the negative. You're tired of the negative. So I want to look karmic. Mm -hmm. Karmic and stalker, yeah. Yeah. You're tired of all the bullshit. You're tired of getting no respect. Woo! You're tired of getting no respect. We have Divine Masculine here. Who's behind Divine Masculine? Ooh. Jesus. Sexual harassment is behind him. Um, we have dark, rainy days. Look, look where we at. This, this is the current energy. This is what's going on outside. This is the current weather. Dark, rainy days. Somebody just said, who are you talking about? I don't know if that's what they said or somebody said, you have a lot of mouth. I don't know. Somebody may have said both. Okay. But it's a man's voice. I feel like somebody just said, who are you talking? Who are you talking about though? Like, I just feel like a man just said that. Who are you talking about? Maybe somebody got offended. Somebody got offended. Somebody got, yeah, I feel like somebody, somebody got offended. 
I want to find out what's going to happen here with these with these energies. I want to know what's going on with these people. What's going to happen with these people? What's you know what's going to be the end result? Because your um, your sunshine is 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 a sure deal. Somebody says I love you just the way you are. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, somebody has some serious insecurities. Oof! I just heard Cayate la Boca again. I got a lot of Spanish people watching me. I just heard Cayate la Boca. Is what I just heard. But um, yeah, somebody, somebody is. Look at the thief. We have a thief. We have Aquarius. We have great fortune, and we have scribe or writer. Somebody's trying to steal your blessings. They want to steal a gift from you. Somebody wants to steal a gift from you. Somebody wants to steal your gift. Whether this be a spiritual gift, a gift of love, a financial gift, I don't know. Somebody wants to steal a gift from you. You're about to be blessed. They can't steal it. It's yours. I just heard leave that shit alone. Woo! In a man's voice. Leave that shit alone. I just heard it. Leave that shit alone. Either somebody is saying that in fear. This could be the person who's doing, you know, playing with energies in the background against you. Either somebody is going to be saying that in fear because karma is going to, is going to take place and something's going to happen to where they're going to get a sure sign from God if you don't leave that shit alone. If you don't leave my children alone, leave my daughter alone, leave my son alone, leave my people alone. I feel like God about to set foot. And somebody, whoever's been working against you, whether it be in the physical realm or in the spiritual, listen, somebody is about to learn today. And it's, and it's, it's listen. Somebody's about to get that Mother Earth smackdown, that father, that heavenly fatherly smackdown. I don't want it. I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't want it. I don't want it with God. I'm scared. God will uproot everything that you think you own. Your house, home, your jaw. Listen to me. Your savings will be in the negative. You ain't got shit. Someone needs to be. Someone needs to be careful. Someone needs to be worried. Someone needs to be worried. Whether it be your ex, your fam, whoever. Someone needs to be worried right now. If they don't stop fucking with you, someone needs to be worried. Because somebody here thinks that they are greater than God, and they're sitting on the same glow we sitting on right now, which is floating in pure nothingness in the universe. If God wanted to, he'll, he'll say, gravity, come. What if, he, what if he speaks gravity right now into the universe? You know how we'll be, everybody will be falling right now. Oh, my God, the sky is falling down. This whole earth will be falling. And it ain't going to land on shit. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. It's the universe. If God really wanted to. Somebody think they're greater than God about you. And he made you, though. Somebody think they're greater than God. And that's what's going to... That, see, that's what's going to... Mm, somebody going to learn the hard way. All right, Father God, what's going to... What's, 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 tell me what's up. What's going to be this person? What's going to be these people's karma who keep fucking with... Okay, sorry. See why I don't cuss? Because sometimes I pray and it come. That's not good. Father... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy.
This is their karma, y'all. This is the energy that fell out. This is their karma. I don't know if you know about Psalms 109. I've read Psalms 109 and I promise you, I, I couldn't get past verses one through eight because anything, I don't know if it's one through seven or one through eight, but after one of those right there, the, 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 the scripture get deep because it's actually cursing. It's cursing families. It's cursing somebody's whole entire life, job, finances, their kids, their kids' well-being. This is cursing somebody's whole past generation, the sins of their mother, father. Listen, this Psalms 109 is lethal. This is somebody's karma right here. If they don't stop fucking with you, if they don't stop fucking with you, if they don't stop fucking with you, whether it be ex-baby daddy, two, three exes a go, your family members on your mama or father's side who can't stand you, no way. They're going to get a Psalms 109 Smackdown. It's the kind of smackdown that Kali will give you because Kali comes with all them arms. It's it's one of those, it's, it's a smackdown that don't end. It's a smackdown that continues on down the family tree. Somebody need to be careful about you. Somebody need to be very careful about you because you've suffered enough. You suffer for a long time and your ships have already come in or they're about to and they're trying to sabotage everything that's good for you, all of your blessings. And if they don't stop, because again, they've been doing this for a long time. These people have been stalking the fuck out of you for years and years and years and years. Somebody gonna get the Psalms 109 deal. And then everything that they touch is going to crumble and they're going to lose everything, everything, Konyo. Somebody need to stop. If you don't fear God today, you will. Eventually, whoo, you will. They will. They're going to fear God. If God got to uproot you through some damn, through an earthquake, tornado, hurricane, or something like that, listen, he will uproot you. And if you don't fear him then, woe unto you, woe unto them. But somebody been fucking with you for a very long time. And those little far, far away verses that I keep hearing coming from a man, for many of you, it's a man. And he's going to learn today. And if not today, eventually, he's going to be the one screaming, leave that shit alone. Leave that witchy shit alone. You did because God. Because somebody thinks they are greater than God. Somebody thinks they're, they, they're more powerful than God. Tampering with shit. Somebody thinks they're more powerful than God. Understand what I'm trying to say. God don't like that. God will pluck you out this earth. God will pluck you off this earth if you keep thinking that you're bigger and better. It's time to close. Don't worry about it. If you don't know about Psalms 109, whether you are biblical or not, look, Google it and just read. Anything after 1 through 7 or 1 through 8, that shit get deep. I was like, well, damn. I ain't reading this. This is going into people's whole kids and family members, but this is what they're going to, this is their karma. Listen, y'all. <laughs> okay. I just heard it. I heard it again. Don't do that shit no more. I just heard it again. 
in a female's voice. So now I'm picking up, for some of you, it's a woman. It's a woman, or it could be a couple. It could be anybody. Take it however, however it resonates. But, yeah, this is, this is, this is what it is. Listen, y'all. Mean one. 